for Healthy Mothers, Healthy Families. Today we're doing something a little different and we're talking school lunch safety. Joining me is Jennifer Hall and Araceli Terevino with the Hospitals of Providence. So there's a lot to think about when packing your child's school lunch and you tell me freezing food is important. Absolutely. It doesn't sound like it's a lot, but we are used to freezing like water bottles and putting them in the lunch boxes thinking you keep everything safe, when in actuality that's not the case because it does have a tendency to still get warm. So sandwiches, these two sandwiches, uh, wonderful for freezing. Um, some of the other stuff, making sure that they're going to be safe later on because they do defrost by the time that they eat. But it's important to make sure that you have a good insulated lunchbox to go with that. What if you don't freeze it? What happens as your child carries this lunch around for a couple hours? What happens? What has a tendency to happen is that is that the lunch starts getting to room temperature, the bacteria start growing on it. So if it does stay that way for a while, it, has, it can make your child very, very sick. Okay, and Araceli, you were telling me it's also about nutrition. So right. all these meals, nutrition. Right. right. Um, not only are they good to freeze, but you also get your nutrition along with that. So with your fruit, you're going to get your, your fruit in there with your grapes. Also with your yogurt, you're getting your calcium. And then your protein is actually coming from the peanut butter and the deli meats along with that. And of course, with the bread, you're getting your whole grains. And then to add the vegetables in there, that's also going to provide a good source of fiber. And one thing I think about when I freeze bread, I would think it would get soggy. Is that the case? Not really. You put it in the freezer uncovered, then put it in bags defrost beautifully. All right, so safe and healthy. For safe kids. and healthy. All right, well, thank you for being here. And to learn more about uh, these recipes, you can visit ktsm.com and click on the Healthy Mothers, Healthy Families tab.